I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will see how to derive a formula for area of segment. So we are trying to understand the circle itself when we say area of segment. Uh, this is a circle given to us, let me label it. With center let us say O and we have this chord AB. Then area of the segment is the area enclosed between the chord and the circle. So that area we are interested in finding. So let us see how to develop a relation for this. So basically the area of this segment, this is called the segment. Let me write down segment here. So area of the segment which is let us say like this in this particular case is equal to uh, let us say area of the sector which is kind of like this. Do you see this whole area? Right? So it is the area of the sector take away area of the triangle. So let me say that is my triangle. Okay, so So area of triangle. So that is that is the formula which we want to derive. So area of segment is equal to, so this is the segment, this is the sector, and that is a triangle. So this is how their areas are related, right? So I hope not absolutely clear. Now to find the area of the sector, it is the ratio of total area to the angle enclosed. So if let us say this angle is theta, then it is termed in terms of angle. To find the total area, we should know the radius of the circle. So, so that should be the radius, correct? So that is the radius. So first, let's say area of sector. Area of sector is what? is area of the whole circle which is pi r square times ratio of this angle if this angle is smaller the area is going to be smaller right to the total circle area so if you are doing it in radians then it should be 2 pi correct so and if you are doing it in degrees it should be 360 degrees so this time I will take 2 pi in radians right so those of you who are doing it in degrees for them this formula will be equal to uh, so we'll write here right so so the sector which is kind of like this will be pi r square times theta over 360 degrees okay so if you are taking in degrees okay now now the other thing is area of triangle now area of triangle is kind of tricky here how to find area of the triangle Now to find area of the triangle, you have to draw up a perpendicular from the center. As soon as you draw up the perpendicular, these two sides will be divided into two equal parts and the angle will be divided into half. So we have theta by 2. Do you see that? Once you know this theta by 2 angle, in that case you can write opposite side and adjacent sides. Adjacent side is your height in terms of uh, theta and the angle and you can find all other points. So let's call this point as the midpoint M, right? So now from here what we can say is sine of theta by 2 will be equals to AM over R, right? So we can say AM which is half of the base is equal to R times sine theta by 2 and we can find what OM is from cos theta by 2, right? Cos theta by 2 is OM by R or OM equals to R times cos theta by 2, correct? So area of triangle will be half AB which is the base times OM which is the height. Now AB is 2 times AM right 2 times AM times OM correct now we have 
half 2 times am am is r sin theta by 2 r sin theta by 2 and om is r cos theta by 2 r cos theta by 2 right so so that is how you get area of the triangle you get the point so this is this is the formula so now we can kind of simplify this and then write down the formula itself which is equals to r square sin theta by 2 times cos theta by 2 at times you know the formula let me use one more relation here we know sin 2a equals to 2 times sin a cos a right some of you know this formula so so theta by 2 will give us theta provided we have two times so we say we could simply r times r is r square divided by 2 we could write this as sine theta also so so that is how you can get area of triangle from here correct or you could write in theta by 2 it's one and the same thing but you could use the formula okay now we know area of triangle also which is r square by 2 sine theta in this particular case area of the sector let me simplify this one also 2 pi pi and pi cancels out so we get r square by 2 theta do you see that so that is what we get now we will write area of segment so we have area of segment equals to area of sector is r square theta by 2 right minus r square by 2 sin theta so i'm not really simplifying it further okay there is a reason okay okay that's okay you can of course take r square by 2 common and simplify further anyway so what we get here is these are the two different areas in such situation that is simplified area in terms of sector area of sector and this one is area of the triangle correct and theta is in radians right so what we are working on in theta in radians in this particular formula okay correct so here theta is in radians slightly it gets modified if you are working in degrees but i hope you can always use this formula and solve questions we'll have few questions based on this what you can do is you can try some solving some questions you can take r equals to let us say 10 centimeters and theta equals to let's say 3 pi by 4 or let's say 3 pi by okay 3 pi by 4 doesn't matter so take theta as 3 pi by 4 and figure out what should be the area of the segment right so that could be that could be a question for you to try okay so i've given you a link to practice question which you can do after understanding how to get this formula i hope that helps thank you